Hey guys, this is MTP Flyers. Well, it's been a few days since I've installed my invisible shield from Zag on my iPhone 5. They did send out a full body kit. If you want to see that install, we'll throw that up right there while I'm talking. Well, I can honestly say that it did look good when I put it on as far as any degradation when using the device. Uh, definitely doesn't have an orange peel effect that we used to uh, see on uh, screen shields like this. And... Uh, you know, nothing really wrong with the front, you know, except my own issues with me installing it. Taking a look at the back kit that we have for this, it actually didn't turn out too bad, with the exception of my horrible install skills. I got some dust underneath here, but overall, I think it looks really good. I like what they did. There's great coverage over the Apple logo, as well as the iPhone name. There's no bubbling around that. Everything conformed to it real nice. They do give you a little bit on the sides here if you're going to have a bumper style case on. And I've actually used this phone with my candy shell. No problems at all. It's definitely thin enough where it doesn't affect the case fitting on my phone around there. Now I want to talk about the front of this and the cutouts that they did uh, for the top and the bottom. I'm not a big fan and I, I have definitely not held back uh, mentioning this and seeing people uh, are agreeing with me. Uh, the, the, the bottom part, not so much. Uh, I just wish they could complete that. I think it would look nicer down at the bottom, but the top, I, I, I just don't like the way it looks, uh, for functionality. I understand why they would want to leave the sensors open on the one side. So it doesn't impede your phone dimming, uh, when you don't want it to, which can happen. And, uh, I've never experienced it with other screen shields, but if they're going to do that, they may as well even it up on both sides because having the device look like the screen shield is off to one side looks like I did something wrong or the screen shield's cut wrong. I understand wanting to keep the sides a little bit short to put a case on. I'm fine with that. But if you're going to do that to the top, you may as well, I don't know, complete it somehow, make it look uh, uh, uniform on both sides. Of course, then you've got a larger hole cut out at the top. I don't know. Whether it would be to put holes where those sensors are might be a good idea. I don't know. I'm sure they've uh, tested it out and uh, done the best that they can, and this is the, the option that they have. But, you know, with other screen shields out there that don't have this, and you don't necessarily hear a problem with that, I don't know what the reason for it is other than, you know, they want to don't want to affect the performance of the phone. Zag has many different options when it comes to their screen protectors. They have four in the family, and you can check it out on their website. And uh, on that website... Once you pick one of the four, they'll give you more options, whether you get full body kit or just a front kit on that. And they have case-friendly ones as well, which is cut a little bit shorter around the sides. So you can check out the website down below at zag.com, and uh, you can see which one works for you. Now, these do range from $22, $24 to over $30, and people may say, well, that's really steep for this. But keep in mind that they have a full lifetime warranty. So if you wreck this once or something happens to it, to replace it, boom, you just knock the $30 screen shield down to $15, and you've got a second one. It happens again, you get it replaced again. So you now take a $30, and you've knocked it down to $10 because you've got three screen shields. So in my opinion, you do, you do get what you pay for. Are there companies out there that I like better? Yes, there are. But, you know, these are the things that you have to decide if you want to do. The wet screen shield install is very nice because you have less of a chance of making an error and putting that on and lining it up if you're someone that doesn't necessarily like that. There are options for you out there as well. But this is my honest opinion with this. This isn't something that um, I'm too keen on because just of the aesthetic reasons. I've tried other screen shields that have worked just fine. But that's just me. You may have an issue where you might like this style and you don't care about the cutout. Zag makes very good screen shields and you've got other options. So think about it. Hit this link up down below if you want to see if it's something that we're working for you. Other than that, I appreciate your time and I want to thank the folks over at Zag for sending me this out for review. And uh, you guys take it easy and have a great day and I will talk to you later. See ya!